welcome. We're back. <laughs> it's so good to have my sister yes. back. It's so good to be back together again. And she wasn't gone anywhere. I just wouldn't <laughs> let her be around me because I wanted to make sure that I gave enough time uh, because I was around so many people. Um, anyway, I'm Mary. I'm Linda. Get <laughs> that straight. <laughs> so, um, Mary, we're going to do something. I may have to sit down. I've already moved so much stuff this morning. I got my back to hurting. Um, Mary stands up. I sit down. Sorry, y'all. Right. <laughs> I'll get up some, but I'm going to sit down. So, um, do you think all kids like chicken nuggets? I do. That's a, that's a go-to thing on all kids. If you can't find anything, find anything else to feed a kid, that's what they want is chicken nuggets. I can't tell you how many times that I've wanted just a little something. I didn't want a meal, but I wanted a little something, and chicken nuggets is yeah. what I like. Yeah. So we're just going to make some chicken nuggets. We're going to show you how easy it is. These will reheat. You can make up a big batch and have them to give yeah. the kids during they're, the day when yeah. they're hungry. A lot of times they're good just for snacks. I don't even mind them being a little cold. Not I don't not either. refrigerated cold, but but uh, I've always liked cold chicken though, so I would <laughs> I wouldn't mind if they were cold. But um, we've got it's actually four chicken breasts, but it's equivalent of about three because three of these were thin sliced and. I could have bought some big chicken breasts, but I'm like Mary. I'm trying to use what's in the freezer so I don't have stuff in the bottom that I have to wind up throwing away. So we use a lot of thin sliced uh, chicken to make sandwiches. Mm -hmm. So I had this package and then I had one chicken breast. So it's, it's the equivalent of about three chicken breasts. And I just washed them so and cut them cut in, yeah. in little chunk I'm pieces. And most of the time they say inch pieces, but if y'all have ever bought chicken nuggets and just, I guess just about everybody in the world has somewhere or another, they're different sizes. Oh, they're yeah. not ever the oh, same yeah. size. These are nice sizes here. They're not little so, um, popcorn chicken. <laughs> right. The popcorn chicken <laughs> is small. More, more bread than it yeah. is chicken. And uh, these are going to only have a light coating on it. They're, they're somewhat... Uh, like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets, um, they're going to have somewhat that same uh, taste and uh, texture because they don't have a heavy breading on it. We've got our oil heating over there in our five and a quarter pot, and I hear it popping. I do too. You <laughs> think it's, it's not hot, is it? It's, it's not, not hot yet. I, I usually set the timer when I'm heating oil, but since we're right here in the kitchen, we can uh, run over there and check on it. Um, so, um, we're going to get started, and, um, um, so I guess what I'll do is I'll put you the gonna do the bread in, okay, and, and I'll mix up do the, the wet. I'll do the wet. You got your, uh, recipe there, right? Yeah. I'm going to beat the eggs. I think up. why I like chicken you nuggets so well. You're going to put the so flour well. mixer in this, aren't you? I am, but I want to okay. mix it up, okay. and, uh, I'm going to put right. it in here and then okay. pour it in there. Okay. Dirty another bowl for Mike to wash. <laughs> I'm I'm cracking two eggs, whole eggs. We gonna uh, and I'm gonna be using the uh, little whisk. Did I did I get it out for you? Yes, you did. Okay. I put two eggs in here, and this is um this is one. Is a little more than a one. Is it supposed to be one cup? It is. It's supposed okay. to be one. If, if you have to not use it all, don't use it okay. all. I, I okay. poured the, you know, made the, the, you made your own buttermilk. I made my own buttermilk with lemon juice and it made yeah. it a little bit more. Right. Than, than I'm going to beat the eggs up a little bit before I put the buttermilk okay. in there. Now y'all know we could do this with our eyes closed if we wasn't trying to get the exact measurements but that's why we keep looking at the recipe because <laughs> if we wasn't on camera we would just, we be, just throw it together just be put, putting it yeah. in there but we're trying to do good y'all yeah. <laughs> so, trying to help you out there <laughs> all of our friends yes so i've had a chance to talk to a couple the last uh, couple days mary yeah and we don't always get to take your calls and I always feel so bad when I can't take a call, but uh, when we do, we enjoy talking to y'all. Yes. So we're gonna put the, I'm going to set this aside. Mm. 
Now this right here is to dip your stuff in. My sauce is going to be, I need a, I'll get another bowl to put the sauce in. Yes, yes. So, in fact, um, I could wash this one real quick after we get this all done. Mm -hmm. So I've got a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now this is going to be an ingredient that you probably wouldn't be expecting us to use in this, but this I'm going to use, I'm using imperial powdered sugar, and I'm going to use one tablespoon in this um, uh, dry mixture, in this flour mixture. I'm going to spray this cup. And I'm going to use some breadcrumbs. It was much cooler yesterday, wasn't it, Linda? Oh my goodness, this, it was so this nice. little cool front front was so welcome. I walked outside this morning, my glasses didn't even steam, which was which was really fantastic. I thought, I forgot who it was the other day that was uh, complaining. Oh, I know what it was. It was my daughter. Uh, every time she was going in and out of the house, and every time she'd go out, her glasses would fog up. I'm putting the I'm putting um, a fourth a cup of honey. I'm making that sauce, uh, honey mustard sauce. Y'all can see that I keep levelers in all my canisters except for the sugar canister. It just makes it so nice when you're measuring something, not to have to guess. You can just level it off. So I've got my dry ingredients. It's a cup and a half of flour. Um, oops, I put my breadcrumbs in. Um, I'm using um, a half a cup of breadcrumbs, and these are uh, regular, they're not seasoned. So I'm just gonna pour them in here. We got a, uh, some cornstarch, how much cornstarch did I put? Uh, half a tablespoon of cornstarch, one, one tablespoon of imperial powdered sugar. I'm straining this honey because it, it had, um, Sugar, if you know how. Sugar. Yeah. If so that's not enough, it. Mary, I've got another jar over there. Well, I'm gonna get it. It's just gonna take a little bit longer because that sugar. That may pop open. It. <laughs> Don't want to put the <laughs> on. I have missed this honey popped over. I'd have it popped open. I'd that's probably what it would do to me. Let me grab a new one out of the uh, can. Out of the well, this here. is uh, sugar. This honey is turning. There's a lot of crystal sugar in it. If we wasn't straining it, it would be fine. Yeah. But just use this, Mary. I wasn't even thinking about being like that. It's okay. I can get it. You go ahead and do your flour. Okay. I'm doing a half a uh, fourth a cup of honey. I need to sneeze. And this is the uh, honey <laughs> mustard <laughs> recipe. Bless you, Linda. That, that uh, cayenne pepper made me sneeze. Yeah. Yeah, that... Cayenne pepper is hot too. Okay, so I think I've got all my dry ingredients. Um, flour, powdered sugar, cornstarch, salt, pepper, and uh, cayenne. So we're going to put this in our little coating tray here. I wanted to stir that, that's why I put it in a bowl to start with. We're getting, and I'll rinse this out here. Well, so I'm, okay, well, I was, okay. And you go to, okay, this is your um, egg, your egg and buttermilk. Yes. That we're gonna, you're gonna dip it. Are you put the salt and pepper? Have you already put I the salt can. and pepper in there? Yes. Okay. I can move, put that up for you. Um, but that rain yesterday really cooled things off. I, mean, I had to turn my AC down. <laughs> I was cold. Well, I wasn't cold, but yeah, well, I did. I got cold. Then. So, uh, just um, been busy, busy, busy. Got a lot of things. Okay. Cold. There's your knife back for that. Okay, so um, so this is what you want me to do the sauce in? Yeah, I know it's probably you probably could have used a smaller one, but let's not do that in that. Unless you want one of those little two cup bowls, would that be big enough? 
to do it in I'm the two cups? Good, Linda. I'm matching okay. it. Okay, let me get um because it's it's just a little bit of stuff. I'm gonna I'm bit. gonna put some, go ahead and do your chicken because that's some of the chicken. My hands are clean, y'all. I know I could use tongs, but I just wore I'm them. just gonna wait to, to do this do the mixture after you get that in get there because cooking. I think I think we're going back and forth and, and um uh, I'm afraid y'all can't follow us because we're doing two different things, and so we want to make sure you understand what yeah, we're doing. I now should've, I should have got tongs to start with, and yes, I am going back and forth, and so, I'm sorry. Um, that's okay. I, it's just us doing two different things. I think I'll just wait till we get the chicken, the fry, the chicken in the oil, and then I'll make the sauce, and I'll tell you how the measurements for the sauce. Uh, get that done. Uh, Seems like it's been forever since I've been over here. And how long has it been, Linda? Has well, it been? It's been about two 10 weeks. Eight, yeah, about two, two weeks. weeks. Because you so, went to the funeral that, and was gone that week. And Our kitchens are set up different. So they're, you know, Mary has things that are one way and I have them that are another way. But, you know, we are not. We're not Food Network kitchen. We're not show kitchens. We're Big working nice. kitchens. We, have, we had the same kitchen. We both were, you know, we worked in every week. That'd be nice. Okay. The same kitchen. Oh, let's see, I was going to get the tongs and oh. I forgot them. Um, you know what I told Mike yesterday, Mary? What? I told him that um, if I could, I'd like to, and, and we had a huge carport. It's a really big carport and that I'd like to enclose the carport and have, a, have that a complete kitchen. He's like, where would we park the car? And, oh man, you know, yeah. right. Where would we park the car? He said, it'd be better to build behind, knock this wall out and yeah. make a new utility room and just let the utility room be part of the kitchen. Yeah. It won't ever happen, but it's nice to dream, <laughs> isn't it? It would, nice. it would be nice to yeah. have, have more room, but I'm not complaining. I, you know, I have a workable kitchen. I have lots of storage space, and I don't have. I am any not kitchen, complaining at all. And I don't have much storage space. It's just that I do like to think about it sometimes. What if? <laughs> okay, those uh, yard eggs makes that really. Yes, yeah, I know that's it yellow, that, isn't it? <laughs> Look how yellow that yard eggs. Compliments of my sweet neighbor. I know you gave me a, a carton, 18 count, the other day, and I sure have enjoyed them. Yeah, I, Fresh I eggs. It makes it makes a big difference when you're cooking and baking. It makes a big difference. Yes. I saw uh, one of my customers, old customers in Brookshire's this morning when I ran over there, and um, your your uh, bakery customer. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I asked him, did uh, did he watch us? And he said, Yes, I do. Really? Yeah. And then the cashier, she's like, No, I don't watch y'all, but Show me where y'all at and I'll watch y'all. So I'm just going to take these out of the flour. Actually, I want to kind of dust them off a little bit. I was uh, talking to a lady the other day uh, that um, that hadn't, hadn't seen our page. She lived in Kilgore and I told her. And so she looked it up right then. She said, I'm going to follow her, y'all. She was real. Her mother was, I think she said her mother was 80 and that she thought her mother would really enjoy it. It's uh, kind of funny because we do have a lot of local we, people that follow us that either knows Mary or knows me or knows both of us. And, um, but every once in a while, uh, we run into somebody that, 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 that right. doesn't. I, well, I can't let you do that because I got the tongs, but... Anyway. You want me to just put them in here? You can. Is that what you want? Okay. Well, I've, I've been, I've washed my hands all morning. <laughs> I know. We are, we have people who will say something about this, about Regardless, that. Regardless, yeah. We're eating these, you know, we're not taking them out and giving them to the public or anything. Okay, I'm probably going to fry these in, in two batches, you imagine? Probably two I imagine batches. so, yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go over there and check the oil, and uh, okay, I'll let you finish this. I'll um, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. I have a couple of little pieces in here that I was gonna. He's gonna try. try. Okay, I don't see. It's I not don't in see there. Them. <laughs> I don't know you where lost I went. <laughs> oh, there's one. There's one. No, it's, no, it's not. It's That's not. What I thought Sorry too. about that. Mm. So 
So in Mississippi, Mary, saw a lot of old friends up there. Oh, I know it. I wanted to go to Sister back Jean's funeral. a lot funeral. of memories. So bad, but just uh, couldn't do it. I remember uh, uh, one time we were out um, selling something for the church, and um, we went by a radio station. And um, I don't know, I was probably 19 or 20. I, I was just a kid. And uh, so when I walked in, the guy motioned for me to come on in where he was doing the live on air show. Now, when was this? This was, oh, this was years ago. Okay. We, I think we were having a, like a singing and a cookout in the church parking lot. I don't know if you were there or not when we put the. 18 wheeler flatbed trailer out no, and we had all the uh, all the instruments on it and we sang. I had already moved I think I was this advertising that. This okay. is the piece that you want. Do you want this? Yes. Give me that. It's a little piece where she can test her oil. And he motioned for me to come in and he put me on air. This was no script. I was 19, 20 years old. And he just said, well, tell us what, what's going on. So. Everybody back then, the radio was the big thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. you didn't have televisions, right. and the people that did, you know, you didn't sit and watch them all day. It was like you I watched know, it's the a world of Father Knows <laughs> Best or, you know, the Lawrence Welk Show or something that a family would right, watch, you right. know. And there was only a couple of channels anyway. But um, so everybody listened to the radio. And, and, of course, there were no cell phones either. But... I don't know how many people heard me on the radio that day. It totally unplanned. Yeah. And I just got up there and act like I was working there. Because <laughs> I wasn't afraid of nothing. I, I don't guess I was. I, I sure didn't act like it. Yeah. Nowadays, uh, people are tuned in. I own their, uh, looking at videos on the phone. Or, or, um, or kids are playing games. And you know what, Linda? It's not just the kids that's on the phone playing games. It's adults. Adults, you know, I mean, I, I know that it's good um, to sit down and, and relax a little bit, but I know some that every spare minute they have, they're on their phone playing games. I just don't, and kids running around that needs, to me, you know, of course I'm old school, that needs to be tended to or something, but it, it's just... This world is just different than what it used to be. It's certainly not the way we grew up. No, it ain't. Mary, you know, I'm always talking about these pots, how hot they get. Yes. You, I had this heating very little, right? Uh-huh. And and this was the first piece that I took out, and it's too dark. Right. And that's why that's why I wanted to do a sample. Right, right. Because I had to take my, see, I got it she it's got a little it bit too dark. too dark. I had to take a... Um, Take it off the heat. I did to that. Let it cool down I did there. the same thing the other day, Linda, when I made hush puppies, and that oil was so hot. I mean, it, it just got too brown too uh, too soon. So it's true. Those uh, pots and pans, you just you have I, to. Once I, they get hot, they really get hot. I turned my burner back to medium too. Did I had you? it on the back. I'm gonna put so. the camera over there on you in just a second. Well, I went and put my hand in, and I gotta wash my hand. <laughs> I didn't mean, <laughs> I'm not thinking very straight this morning. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, I did. I made them hush puppies. They were good, but some of them got a little bit too dark. They got done too quick. And that's, you know, I think probably anybody that tests their oil, they don't want it not hot enough yeah. because then you're going to have grease logged uh, food. So you want to make sure that your oil is hot enough. That um, after you take it off the burner for a couple of minutes, and once you put some chicken in, that's mm -hmm. going to lower yeah, it'll the, cool lower it off the temperature or two. Um, I'm going to get a paper towel and wipe my tongs off. I think we needed two set, two tongs. One for the dry and one for yeah. the liquid. <laughs> and I've got plenty home. I know I don't you know do. Why I didn't get some more out. That's all right. I'm fixing to clean this one off. Because it's just got too much batter on there. Here, here's your nose set. Well, I'll just dip it in here and. Okay, I'm gonna try it again now. I'm gonna put the camera up there in just a minute so they can see what you're doing. Okay. I, uh, 
Oh, Linda, I forgot to tell you. I don't know if I ever told you about Aunt Laverne falling and, and breaking her wrist. Did I tell oh, you something? Tell me. I did I tell you. I couldn't remember. Her. Well, she's in therapy. I called this morning. Yeah. Okay. I called this morning to, uh, and she didn't answer the phone, so I called Aunt Faye. And uh, she said that she was in therapy. And uh, so... But she's doing a little bit better. Today. I think so. I didn't, I was on the way over here when I called her, and you know how the signal goes off and on. Right. Um, okay, let me get these pieces on here so I have room to put some more. Did you get all those in that, in yes, that hole? That's, that's quite a bit. Well, you know, Aunt Laverne, Aunt Faye means a lot to us. Yeah. And uh, Aunt Lucy, that's the Aunt, and Aunt Linda, Linda, Linda Joyce. Joyce. Aunt oh, yeah. Linda Joyce is more like my sister. I know. <laughs> that's why we always leave her yeah, out. I know. We always are thinking about, you know, not her as an aunt, yeah. but her as a sister. For uh, for her age, I think she's doing doing so good. I think she is too. Aunt uh, Linda Joyce. I'm glad Karen and her daughter's up there close. Closer. She used to used to live further away from her, but she's moved a little closer to her, and I'm glad of that. Um, you know, in our childhood, we just uh, all of us cousins. We just the cousins didn't live far away like they do nowadays. No. You know, Co all of us cousins we lived within what 25 miles of each other, and so we got to. We just visited with the Lord, so that made us closer. And one of our cousins, J.C., and his wife has got COVID. It's both of them? Oh, yeah, they had their shot. Yeah. But, well, she's um, got it now, too. Um, their son, didn't their son have it? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Had so, it? That was back when we had a reunion. After, right. Yeah. I see, yeah. yeah. So. It's uh, some pretty good little pieces of meat, Linda. Yes, it is. But if you get them too small, the chicken fries out and make you know makes it uh, tougher or something. So um, I, 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 I will, can't even talk. I don't like the chicken too small of pieces because of that. Because it's uh, Right, it makes it too. It makes it just uh, just too hard. Does Bradley like chicken nuggets? Oh yes, Bradley likes chicken nuggets. Let me tell you what he said the other day. Carla said they was on their way home from um, somewhere. They had been out of town, and Bradley was with them, and and uh, they didn't know the area that well. But they stopped at a at a seafood restaurant. And when they drove up, Bradley's in the back seat in his in his car seat, but he's got a car seat plate, the seafood restaurant, and Bradley going off. It's, there we go. Okay. And um, Bradley can't read. Of course, he's four years old. And um, they drove up at that restaurant, and he said, "Excuse me." He said, "Nana, you, I just won't let you know that hush puppies is all I'm going to eat." <laughs> It was so amazing to her because he knew that was a seafood restaurant and he didn't like anything they had but us. So he said, I just want you to know, I'm not like, that was cute. That, uh, he is just a little hoot. Because he's very picky. Very picky about what he eats. Okay. All right. We got this. Got all of it battered now. Here's your fish. I mean, your. I got fish on my mind. <laughs> Here's your. And I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna throw this in the trash. And um, I'm gonna get me put the camera over here so they can see your fish, uh, your chicken. I told you, I still got fish on my mind. You cooked fish the other day. I cooked fish the other day. I sure did. Now, Mary, you notice that I've got a tray set up over here yes. instead of paper towel. And um, 
if you'll drain your stuff on a tray and just put paper towel under it, it'll keep from creating that steam and right. keep your uh, yeah, keep your chicken yeah, uh, crunchier. That's a, that's a good point, Linda. All right, now I'm gonna bring the camera back over here and uh, I'm gonna make that sauce. And I got to go. Back. I gotta look at what I'm doing here. So I got a little bowl. And I believe I need one of your little spatulas to get that. Oh, yeah, I need to get one out. Yeah, I need to get one out. Yeah, I need to get one out. Okay. Four, uh, two tablespoons of mustard. Okay. I don't know, Linda, but that's the way it is. And uh, one fourth a cup of barbecue sauce. I think I'll blame it on mine. <laughs> you gonna blame it on mine? <laughs> one tablespoon. I'm gonna have to, here it is. Here's a tablespoon. One tablespoon. Let's use this. Uh, it's not the one I want. Let's okay. use it. That'll be all right. I'm put one tablespoon. Now this right here is a uh, spicy brown mustard. One taste. Yeah, they can use any brand. You know, it doesn't have to be. Uh, that's a sore brand, what I bought. You know, if they've got great coupon, they can use Oh, it. this is French. What? French? You said store brand. This is French brand. Oh, Spicy. I thought it was store brand. Sorry about that. I didn't get the store <laughs> brand. I, it didn't look spicy enough to me. So I'm, I bought that. <laughs> I'm having problems with my hand this morning. Do you want me to do something? No, no, I'm fine. I'll get it. Here, I just, my hand, I, I don't know why my hand, I can't squeeze this morning. All right, thank you. Is it just one? Yeah, just one. Yeah. You want to make sure it's real good and spicy. Okay. I don't know why my hand just wouldn't squeeze. Well, it was, it's a new bottle and it doesn't have the air in it because it's full. Okay. It makes it a little harder. And one fourth a cup of honey. I sprayed my cup, measuring cup, with oil before I put the honey in there so it would come out good. See how easy that honey came out? Because it was a. Uh... Okay, um, two tablespoons of. And a fourth a cup of barbecue sauce. I think I'm going to put these in two cooking. I'm going to have to get the fourth cup. Do you want another fourth cup? Yeah, please. I, I don't, I didn't think I've seen one up there, Linda. Uh, I know you used one a while ago. Yeah, I probably put it Well, in you that. know what? I, I had it right That's here. That's okay. There's one. I started to say, put it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> the now this, I should be able to squeeze out. This is barbecue sauce. Okay. Oh man, it was <laughs> it was coming out before I even started squeezing because it was turned upside down. If you need help, let me know. All right. I'll put some of this stuff back up here and get it out of the way. People will be emptying your bottle. That's all right. I got plenty of that. I know they have this on sale a lot. Do you, you stock up? Yeah. yeah. And she and this is honey chipotle. Yeah. Is what she uses. Remember, what we're, if I, uh, what we're using. Birthday party, Mary, when you made that, yeah. that's what you use. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that barbecue sauce is yeah. so good. And yeah. you can make your own. Yeah. But that really is good barbecue sauce. I'm just going to put that tad of more barbecue sauce in there because the bottle's empty. All right, let me go back and look at this again. A fourth a cup of honey, two tablespoons of um, spicy mustard and a fourth a cup of barbecue sauce and now I need a half a cup of mayonnaise. Oh, I need, I'll get it out for you, Mary. You didn't take it out because you didn't want it set now. Right. Half a cup of mayonnaise. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll have to get a spoon. Oh, here's the spatula. Let's see what 
honey, right? I am. Thank you. I'm not going to open that door. That door again because I unplugged it. Oh, yeah. Thing a minute ago right. when I opened it. And you're using, and this is olive oil. It yeah, is, it's, but it's just, that just happens to be what I have in the refrigerator. You can use any kind of mayo. Okay. I like to put that tuna salad here. Yeah. It's good mayonnaise. Everybody's got their own favorite right. mayonnaise. Some people like Hellman, right. some people like Duke, right. some people like Kraft. So it doesn't matter what kind of mayonnaise, it's, it's your preference. It's just whatever you use or whatever you have in your cabinet. Yep. Mary, I don't know um, how many people came up to me at the funeral looking for you. So yeah, where's your sister? And they were waving at me from across. This was a really <laughs> big church. Waving at me. There's one of the sisters. <laughs> Some of our um, sweet friends that follow yeah. us on Pink Miles. And um, Sister Vonda Shield and her sister. And uh, Sharon Holland. Oh, You've yeah. talked to her before. <laughs> yes, I have. And, of course, we saw so many um, old friends. And um, the link is still up if anybody wants to watch the service. It's very long. It's three and a half hours. But um, it is still up if you want to watch it. I think it's on my page. Um, but um, it was a beautiful home going. It was something she would have been real proud of. Right. She right. would have been real proud of. Now, this looks a little different than regular honey mustard because it's got the barbecue sauce in it. But um, I think it's going to be really good. It's and sure, if you don't yeah. want barbecue sauce, just leave it no. out. You know, you know, my my grandkids like sweet and sour sauce with their nuggets. But it's just, but I love honey mustard. Are you through with both? Things? I am through with that, Linda. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I um, I'll get this out of the way. I think I've got this stirred up. And you got that nice little lid there to put on it. This is a nice it. little bow. Yeah. Do you have just those right. I just ordered them, Linda. Did I have? didn't. Yeah, I didn't have them, but I ordered them. I love them. They're just right for something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I thought somebody was knocking on me. Sorry, I'm fixing to wash my hands now. Uh. So, Mama never actually fixed anything like chicken nuggets when we were growing up. She cooked, when she cooked, she cooked a whole chicken. Right. Because they, I don't know if we they um, usually kill the chicken in the backyard and cut it and, and fix it or either, um, I don't even remember boneless chicken. We just had fried no, chicken. No, we just you? had fried chicken and yeah. remember I always ate the pulley gum. Yes, And I did. think that's why I like chicken nuggets so well because it's just yeah. that little bitty piece of good meat. Remember we used to fight over the pulley bone? Yeah, that's, that's, a, a, that's that little V shape. And we not, would, not whoever, fight, fight. Yeah. But, <laughs> so he's going to get the pulley bone and like Linda said, she usually was the one that got it. But Mama didn't allow us to fight. I can no. tell you that. She uh, didn't. I didn't mean a little No, no, I know. We, we <laughs> We, we, were, we wanted it. Right. We wanted Everybody it. wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Now that looks delicious. I'll put the lid on that. And uh, I've got a platter in there that we're going to put the chicken okay. nuggets on. Okay. And uh, I will bring that out in just a... It certainly smells good. A few minutes. It smells delicious. Um. Uh, so how... Uh, so I was thinking you was putting all that in there all the time. I didn't that last batch okay. because it took this a little bit longer okay. to cook. All right. So I have that, but right. um, but I've got I've got this batch here and it's, it's probably gonna cook a little bit quicker. I cut a piece to make sure it was done. So okay. um, that other. See if you think does that feel crispy to you or does that feel kind of like. Oh yeah. Kind of like the same oh, yeah. consistency yes. of Chick-fil-A. Yes, it looks delicious. Not no real thick crust. Yeah, it's it's really a, it's about the chicken and yes. not about the crust. And right. these pots, somebody asked me one time, do these pot handles um yeah, they, they don't get hot? No, they don't. No, they don't. I, that's why I love frying in yes. this. We have um I was actually, you know, a lot of times people will fry something in a Dutch oven, and we've got a Dutch oven. And I said, no, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use this pot because it's a lot easier I'm, to I'm pick up and clean, that. and you can hold the handles with it real good. wonder when Pampered Chef's going to come out with the spider, Mary. I don't know, but I wish they would because 
um, mine had a little um, wire uh, loose on it, and and the dish water up, it it cut my finger. I'm telling you, pretty deep. Yeah, this wire is, is it would be yeah, would there. It just sliced my finger. Hurt it would. Um, don't forget to go to our other pages. Uh, Mary and I both have one, and. Um, uh, follow us on those if you're not already following us, which a lot of you are. Mary, you're going to do an announcement later yeah, today. Yeah, I was you? supposed to yesterday, but I got a phone call. Uh, Miranda, they had to put her back in the hospital again. Oh, no. Uh, Bradley's uh, mother, she's expecting her a little girl in October, and she can't keep nothing down, she, her food. So she's back in the hospital again. They're giving her... Um, all kind of fluids and yeah. nutritions, and they're going to run some tests to, today and see. But when they, when I got the word that they put her back in the hospital, it just kind of upset me, and then I forgot. I forgot I was going to go on, but um, I will do it this afternoon. And I made a new announcement on my page this morning. In case some of you missed it, you want to go to, you want to go there and uh, watch. It's just a real short video, probably about 15, ten or fifteen minutes. Looking good, ain't it? Yes, it is. Looking delicious. A lot of people ask us, what do we do with leftover oil? I had used this oil one time before. We always strain it. I never use oil over two times. Now, that's something that... They I would strain my, I threw away a... Uh, after I fried fish the other day, I threw mine away. And it was fresh oil, but it was fried but fish. fish. Yeah, fish so is I just different. Threw it away. But, uh, Mom and them would have used it a lot longer than two yeah. times. I can yeah. tell you that. But, yeah, they um, we don't use it all. But one time, and like Mary said, if it's something yeah. like fish, we'll, I mean, two times, and if it's something like fish, we'll only use it once. So, um, I think this is getting close to being done, and I'll put that last batch in here. And what, um, once I get that in there, um, I'm going to run in there and get... Flatter. <laughs> I get I get my spare bedroom clean, and two weeks later, and stuff is piled everywhere in there. My bed's covered. Kathy hears this; she's gonna be mad because when she left, she had it all nice and cleaned off. <laughs> I um, uh, I'll I'll do, do those others if you want to go get the okay, flatter. Okay, I will. I'll, I'll let you do that. I'll get these out. Not that you couldn't, but and then you can put those in there. I didn't even turn my ringer off on my phone, and either I hear mine or yours yeah, one thing. I know. For which one? Okay, I'll let you finish putting the rest of that All in. Right. I'll go get the platter. So I'll just drop these in here. I don't even know where my phone is. Oh, there it is. That was probably mine. I'm not sure if that was mine or yours, again. But uh, oh, Linda, we got to give the apron away today. Yes, we do. We got to do the birthday drawing. Sure do. I forgot about that. Um, that that, ma that dinging made me think of it because my phone has dinged and dinged and dinged and dinged. The business phone, uh, birthday uh, entries. I think I can get all these in here. Uh, but we'll be giving away an apron today. For the bur for July for the July birthday, and the August uh, August birthday is um you don't enter those you don't call and, and enter those until the last week of August because uh, it just ties up too much of my space and my phone. But anyway, we got a lot of um, a lot of entries, and and when you enter, I don't respond back. I used to. I'd respond back and say entered or thank you or whatever. I don't do that anymore because um, I, there's people that sends me texts in between those birthdays, and uh, it messes me up when I start to do the drawing. So. And and we'll have to come back on here, Linda, because the names uh, is on this phone that we're we can, using. We can do that. So we'll have to we'll have to um, go offline and and come back to to announce the winner of the apron because I have to do the names from the phone we're using the video on. 
So. I love pretty cup towels. Don't you, Mary? I do too, Linda. I, I guess, guess I do. Pretty cup towels. Is that one of them? That's not one of them that the, uh, our fathers give us, is it? No, I think this is one. Did nobody want like this in Hobby Lobby? Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I don't think so, Linda. It I says think. you've been assigned this mountain to show others that it can be moved. Your hands in the way they can't see it. Sorry. <laughs> I just, it's all right. I didn't mean to be bossy. I just like that saying. <laughs> I just pretty? thought that was yeah. so sweet. Linda, you may have. I've got so many uh, tea towels in my drawer. And two, uh, some of the tea towels that people, uh, cup towels that people give me, I hate to use them. They're so pretty. Are you that way, Linda? I am, but I tell you what I like. Um, I, I like to have a pretty cup towel like when I set a table. Yeah. I like to go to the bread basket. The, yeah, that's what I that's I and, do that too. To the to lay, you know, to lay in the bread basket and then on top of the bread basket. When I have yes, yes, yeah. yeah, I do too. And we I, do that at the church too. Yeah, I just think it looks really. Yeah. Sister um, Boatman always brings some of her pretty uh, linen towels. Real pretty. To do that. Let me wash this calm so we'll have a clean bit of calm. Okay. Um, pick this chair up so we can put it on the table. Okay. Yeah, I fixed some fish, that catfish the other day. It was so good. The hush puppies. I love catfish. We always eat fish when we go to Mississippi. I bought. I went to the. Um, I went to the hush puppy house, the restaurant. Oh, and got the and fish. And got the fish. Okay. I did, and it was beautiful catfish. It was so pretty and big fillets. I'm gonna cook that one day on online. I'm gonna cook the, the, uh, some catfish and show y'all uh, how I do mine. So, is that in Henderson there? It's in Henderson, that, that, uh, uh, Hush Puppies. That's what it's called, Hush Puppies. Okay. Well, I guess I've never been there. And they, they want us to make their pies. Oh, no. They said, would y'all be willing to do our pies for our restaurant? I told them we were just too busy. We just can't do it now. We used to would have jumped on that. But, you see uh, this little brush right here? This is what I'm going to use to clean that. Can those palms out here? Oh, yeah. It sure does smell good. I, uh, I had some boxes on the porch that was going to the storage, and I had never put them in the storage, you know. Chuck, my son told me, and when it, was, it was probably six o'clock when he said it, he said, uh, Mother, he said it's going to rain tonight. And I said, Oh, I got to get some boxes off the porch. So, but I forgot. I forgot about it. About one o'clock in the morning that night, I heard it thunder, and I said, Oh, no, I forgot to do those boxes. So I went on the, out on the porch at 1 30 that morning and moved those boxes. Oh, my mm -hmm. Lord. <laughs> Nobody in the world would have known he was outside if he was falling. Oh, Mary. Chuck's got cameras on that front porch. He, uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. He does. He would. Uh, he might not have seen exactly when it happened, but he would have seen it. He would have seen me. He keeps up with me. My daughter is out of town, and. Uh, apartment next door to her flooded and went into her apartment so it that was so that terrible. was it was just uh, was so that much that work on her that so she much didn't have time to do she, i know because she got in on friday night linda and had to leave back out on sunday morning four o'clock and you wound up helping her and too. i i helped her son Ooh, now, this is the large platter i told somebody the other day this is to me it's more like a medium and, uh, and the and other one is like small. Yeah. But they are very pretty. They are pretty. And they make a pretty presentation. Yes. So, now you've got this oil on medium, right? Okay. If you feel like it needs to be, no, done, no, don't it's, turn it up. no, it's fine. It's fine. I, I just was, I turned it down. I was just, it was too hot. Once you get your oil hot, then then turn it down to medium. 
and everybody's stoves are different. Mine's different from hers, so you know how your stove, uh, how hot it gets and how fast. So and you then just use it. I fry pies between five and six. That's where I fry. Yes, I do. That's where I fry. Okay. Yeah. But that chicken just couldn't fry that pie. Yeah. No. It's too hot. Well, uh, I, the weather said uh, that it's not supposed to get but in the 80s today, Linda. Oh, man, that so is, that that is, is such a relief. It is. It I is. feel so bad for people that work outside and for animals. The humidity is just so, has been so bad that yesterday was nice. Well, that's good. I know he will. <laughs> Mike's our cleanup person <laughs> at Linda's house. Now, at my house, we have to we have to both clean up. We've been for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't. We have... try we try to wash them as we go at Mary's, and we don't always do it. Sometimes she won't let me do it, but most of the time, uh, I try to help if I can. Yeah, she does. This is your food, so aren't you? You're through with that, okay? I guess she's probably going to get in there. Uh, thank you, Linda. Uh, little Linda, my youngest daughter, um, the one we saw about, about the uh, flood and house, she is at a training in Michigan. No, it's Wisconsin. Uh, it's Chevogan, it's Chevogan or Chevogan? Yeah. Chevogan, Wisconsin? Yeah. Right on the water, right? Yeah. Way yeah. up there right. in Wisconsin. Yeah. It's up above, there by the Great Lakes. Yeah, it's there. above yeah. Uh, Lake Geneva yeah. where we yeah. were at. Yeah. And she said she wished that you, we Linda, were all yeah, there. Me yeah. and you and Carla and her, wish we was all up there. She said that this is fun. a place to just relax. And, uh, I'm glad she's yeah. enjoying it. Is she it's getting good. to... Have any R and R time, or is it all work? I don't know. Uh, I really haven't talked to her. She's uh, mostly just texted because, uh, you know how it is. You, you know, you In go meetings. out with your call, uh, with your uh, uh, teammates from the from the uh, job and and have dinner. And her feet swelling really bad, so she probably didn't feel like talking or being up. So Wisconsin has a lot of uh, Minnesota made too, and I know Wisconsin does has a lot of resorts that have indoor water parks. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we've done remember. this before, but when we was at Lake Geneva, Mary came and visited with me, and uh, we had bands to go in that water park. We got we got seven bands every day. I got seven bands. We never used them. No, we didn't. Not one of them. <laughs> but we had fun. We went around. We did a lot of other we sightseeing. Did, yeah, we did take the boat ride on yeah. Lake Geneva. Well, that water park is mostly for kids, to me. I mean, you know, yeah. kids and their parents and... and um, Renee and the girls enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm when sure they, they came, did. When I'm, they came and yeah. spent a long weekend with me in yeah. Chicago. Um, and... Uh, they are Linda, don't you, you think they're the brown in them? Yeah, I think they're probably done. Oh, I took your pen away. So keep it from dripping. Yeah, I think these are, I mean, they're quite. I think they're done. What do you think? You, need, you want them a little browner than this? Let me check that one with the knife and fork. They probably are because they. it's not as hot, so they've had a little more time to cook. This little one here, yeah, I know it is done. May not be as brown, but it's done because it's small. Yeah, I think it's done. Here. They're not quite as brown as the one you got there. That's okay. The first ones were browner because the oh, oil was hotter. hotter. Yeah, yeah. But um, anytime you fry in batches, they're not going to be the same color. My you know? fish was that way the other day. I had <laughs> one piece that was lighter than the rest of it. Uh -oh. I don't know why. I just. I guess I said they not gonna all be the same color. If we had a professional thing in here and we're, it was cooking at the same time, we're not professionals. Y'all know that we're we're home cooks. We love to cook. We're good cooks, but yeah. we're not professionals. All right, Linda, I believe that is it. <laughs> all right, so I'm just burn gonna turn off. this off. Excuse me, Mary. <laughs> and I'm gonna take that off the burner, and our trusty Mike will get that emptied after a while when that cools down a little bit. 
he's really bad about emptying hot oil, and I don't like for him to do it. But if he was in the kitchen, I guarantee you it would be he yeah. would be emptying it yeah. like in five minutes. Okay. Now we're gonna know these in the closer to the center are just cooked, so they're gonna yeah. be hotter. Uh -huh. You think, Mary, the way I'm doing this and putting the bowl in the middle, you think that's okay? Yeah, that's okay. How would you do it? <laughs> How would you do it? Mary, Mary's the designer. I'm not. Y'all know that. <laughs> Linda, it does not matter where you put it. But if I was doing it, I'd put the meat on one end and the bowl on the other end. Okay. But, that, but that looks fine. Don't bother, Don't move it. It looks perfect. I told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we just do things different, but that don't mean it's wrong. Can you put the... I don't guess it, okay. needs, a, I don't guess it oh, needs the thing in the I guess though. it would, too. It looks beautiful. Okay. I'm going to take the dip with, and I've got a little ladle, but I'm just going to get a spoon now. Here okay. You. I'm going to move this over here to see it better. That's a beautiful platter of chicken nuggets. We don't ever remember to take pictures because we always grab something and start eating. But I'm going to try to get a picture of that real quick before we put some of it on our plate. Okay. I think I'll sit down now. Okay. And well, let me get you some water. I, got, I got water right here. I got right you a bottle of water. I should have no, been here. No, I brought one in. I didn't make tea. I should I, made I didn't tea. want it. I, all I wanted was this water. And I, right here is all I need. Oh, do you want me to move up no, move you plate need, so you, you can go get me in on that? Okay. You just help yourself, Mary. And I didn't what? wash no more um, um, just, tongs. I just, and I, I have got okay. so many that's tongs. That's okay, Linda. This is fine. We can just pick it up with our fork. It's, it's our it be, it's our piece of chicken. Yeah, it's really good. I think I would do this right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no right or wrong way. These are these are our little sauté tongs. Oh, that's I right. I forgot these. about them. Okay, so there we'll put those there, and I'm gonna reach over you and get them. All right, go right in. Chicken and nuggets. So we're gonna taste this and see. Thank you, Jesus. It's good to have a someone to cook for you. And then we're going to get um, offline and then do the drawing and come back on and tell you who the winner was for the birthday drawing. Yes. And everybody's going to want to start asking about August, Mary. And remember that we do not take the text until the last week of August, and they have to go to 903-235-4804, but not until the last, last week, week of, of August. August. Yeah. And we'll do the birthday drawing after we get off the uh, camera. I I'm gonna taste this and see how our sauce. Mm -hmm. That sauce is good, Mary. Mm -hmm. I think the chicken could use some salt, don't you? A little bit, but it's all right with me. I only used a teaspoon, I probably, I knew when I, I said that it probably wasn't going to be enough. But um, it's not dry. It's very, very it's, juicy. It's very tender. Mm -hmm. And and it's not, um, it doesn't have a heavy breading on it. No. For those of you who just want a light breading, this mm -hmm. is a really good way to do it. It's really good. It is. So thank you all for joining us. And um, we love you so much. We appreciate um Every, we got so many cards, um, condolences cards, and, and sweet comments, and uh, and I think somebody even wrote us a letter. Um, oh, that's and right. we appreciate yes, that I, so I got much. That. Yes, I, it was two pages. And I when I got to the post office, I, I didn't want to put it down. I had to read that. It was just, it was just like we were friends forever. 
and it was just wonderful. It warms your heart. It, it really does it really to know does. that so many people take the time uh, have such kindness about them and take the time. We know it takes time to do things. Yes, it We're, does. You know, when you're old, and even when you're not old, it still takes time and thought. I've always said that uh, to have a friend, you have to invest time in them. Right. And y'all have invested so takes much time in us. to send those postcards. It does. People don't even send postcards anymore. Thank you, cards. No, yes. they don't. And so to get one, that's that's special to us. It is. So. We love you. We'll we be back you. home in just a few minutes and announce the birthday winner for July. Okay. So thanks a God lot. God bless you. Count your blessings. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> I'm not up to par this morning. <laughs>